European Parliament has unveiled some of its own paintings to the public for the first time. The collection from across the EU is vast. In the end, however, organisers chose 27 pieces, one from each member state. There are 590 works in total, of which 27 were selected, the exhibition's curator says. In fact, I started by trying to find a link between these works. The theme we settled on was the big art movements of the 18th, 19th and 20th centuries here in Europe. What are the core elements of European art? Once we had more or less set up on a theme, it became much easier, of course, to make a choice. The collection was started in 1980. Since then, the number of paintings and sculptures has grown steadily as the block enlarged. Priority was also given to diversity and young talent, a decision which the Parliament thinks has paid off. From the beginning, we've spent around 2 million euros. The value of the collection today is estimated to be about 17.7 million euros. The works are on show until the end of October. As our correspondent explains, this exhibition also gives visitors a chance to discover the Parliamentarium, a high-tech museum completely focused on all things European and the EU Parliament. As for the parliamentarium itself, it only opened its doors last autumn at a cost of around 20 million euros. Going back in time, it interactively follows each crucial step of European construction.